guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to another vlog. She said too much Pepsi because she's tired for it this time in the morning, which is unusual. So, I mean, Amy, hey, we are um, currently looking like a bugger, but you know, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. We can work on that. Also, our room is a mess. We've got to go out for breakfast somewhere. I was thinking we could go and, can't you go and get a menu from like down the <laughs> We don't, they haven't like left us anything like, they've got a restaurant downstairs and like they said that you can come down and order food in there but they haven't left us like any menus or like any like calling system or anything. So I'm not quite sure. I don't think it was explained to us quite properly. <laughs> anyway. Also, then we need to come back and do, well, from over wherever we're going. Amy was thinking about ordering another McDonald's, but... Uh, no, it was you. <laughs> it's no. because Diggy ordered a McDonald's. It's quicker, definitely, but I can't, I can't still make another McDonald's. I just, I had so much McDonald's yesterday, I literally have more than you. And then I started on the snacks, no wonder I'm massive. Anyway, and then we need to come back and get ready, um... And then we'll be going to look around for a bit, won't we? Mm -hmm. We're going to go... Yeah. I don't know why I'm far away from the train station. A long way. No, we're half an hour away from the train station. How is that a long way, doll? It is. It's not. Half an hour is not a long way. I don't believe taxi took okay yesterday because they had to do two drop-offs. I know, like, I don't know if I'm just being stupid, like, there's probably London people watching this, but, like, I don't know if it's like that anywhere else. Usually, I just order an Uber, and, like, I usually click on, like, the first one, because it's the cheapest, and it's, like, the normal one, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, like, in Nottingham, like, you don't have other people in your car, do you know what I mean? Like, this one, yesterday, we had somebody else in our car, and, like, we dropped them off first, like, he picked them up, and then picked us up. Dropped her off and then dropped us off. Like, I don't know if it's a new thing and never heard of it. Um, we didn't have it in Nottingham, but it was a bit of a surprise <laughs> when um, when it pulled up. But, yeah, hopefully that won't happen today. It didn't happen last night. It didn't, No. We got a new boat last night. Literally, like, a 20-minute walk just because we couldn't be bothered. Because yeah. Google Maps said it was a 10-minute walk from where we are. Oh, did you must have read the car a bit. Not the um, I might have read... No, because they didn't take 10 minutes in the car. Oh. It literally took, like, five minutes in the car. So I don't know who does the walking distance thing for Google, but definitely did not take 10 minutes. If that happens, then you must be Usain Bolt, but... I don't know. Anyway, I need to go and get dressed and get ready. Oh my god. <laughs> Going out to hopefully get a McDonald's. Hopefully. It was 10 minutes around the corner, so hopefully we make it before breakfast ends. Breakfast is served. So, I need to run. Basically, in the room, you get a soap you can use yeah you know normal soap and um obviously i wash my hands because i'm hygienic i'm freaking look what it's done to my nails they were light pink like a nude and the freaking thing has turned them yellow like i'm sorry but that is not acceptable but like I said to Amy, if it's dyeing nail varnish, then obviously it's not good for your skin. Because obviously it's got so much strong in it. But yeah, it's gone and ruined my nails. Hopefully I can, I don't know, get the stain off somehow. But it's done it to both hands and they look absolutely disgusting now. It's just not on. Hmm. Where's that Coke bottle that you had last night? So, I've got a new 
get ready with the main kind of thing routine what do you call it a new like I do basically I do some new stuff with my makeup and I thought I'm not doing a video on it because some of it is quite similar so I've left the tap on thanks oh. I'm going back some of it is quite similar but I thought I'd insert this little section into the blog so you guys can see what I do, how I do it, and why I do it, I guess. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I've just primed my face with the Glacier Prime Moisturiser and then their um, face smoothing um, rose water spray thingy with my body. And now I'm going to head in with some foundation. I'm currently using the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation mixed with my L'Oreal Too Much. The Tarte one is absolutely incredible, but I do have to mix it because it's a bit too much coverage for me. And also, and there also, goes my life. And also because it oxidises really badly into my skin. So it goes muggly be honest and I turn orange uh, I'm not about that so the true match just brings it down and actually it's a really good shade for me to be honest it's kind of like the perfect shade so I mix those and basically just splodge it all on my face I've put too much on the freaking day ow she told me once and she told me twice and then, na, 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 na. I don't know the words yet but that is Lauren Grey everybody <laughs> Lauren Grey just brought a new song out if you haven't checked it out definitely definitely go in there and do it because it's a really great song and it's very catchy I could sit there and listen to it for ages do you know, it would be good if I used an actual mirror instead of just using the vlogging camera because I just can't see vlogging camera. <laughs> you go wishes her fighting. I heard there's an Uber driver down there. We need to order one. Mm. Let's blend this in. I'm going to go in with my collection last impression concealer in the shade Fair One. When I go in my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair. This is a bit light for me. So I just put two dots under my eyes. And that's about it. <laughs> then I get my Rimmel Stay, Stay Matte. Rimmel Matte Perfection Powder. This is translucent. Oh my god, I can nearly break my nail every single time. It's so hard to get these open. There we go. I use my beauty blender. Put a little bit on. And just to tap it on my eye. Probably a bit more. Tap it on my eye, like so, and basically just on quite oily parts of my face, and like that's it, really. And then I'll leave that for a minute while I'm sorting what else I'm gonna use, and to let that just like bake in for a little bit, and then. I get my trusty, no not that brush, my trusty brush and just wipe it all away. And then what I like to do once I've done that is just literally go over it because I'm scared that I've missed a bit or that it hasn't gone on every part of my face. 
And then, ladies and gents, I'm going to be bronzed up because your girl looking pale. So, I used the L'Oreal Back to Bronze Bronzer. I get my big powder brush. And basically, just slap this on. Use my Tarte palette. I use the Lusher out of it. There we go. Um, this is what I'm currently using for a mirror. <laughs> what I'll do is just put it on my cheeks. But bang, base done. That is my base. As for now, then I go on to my e brows. I use the Save and Glory Archery Brow. This stuff is absolutely incredible. And there we go. And then I get my flat end brush and my Barry M kit. And basically get the white out of it and just highlight under my brows. So Amy's just going to be in the background because she's currently going to straighten my hair for me because she's a babe. Anywho, I'm going to take my Naked 3 palette, my, my yellow nails. And I'm going to take the, no I don't, oh yeah, take the limit. Then I'm going to take dust and balls, mix those two together. And then I go in with a bit of trick, which is like a gold. I don't like gold. I had gold on. I don't have gold eyeshadow, just not gold jewellery. And then we go in with a bit of strange, which is just like a, a light colour. And just put it on the inner corner. Next one, last bit. Well, you know how to undo it, don't you? Yeah, obviously. I don't want to do a bubble. Whee. And hey, then... So you want makeup on the same? Um, hmm? <laughs> I know. And then we are going to go in with um, a bit of highlight now. And then I do my mascara last. I'm going with a bit of a pinky colour. Well, I don't even know what the shade is. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh. I think it's called Beer. And then, we're nearly finished. I mean, it's only took me half an hour. We use my Miss Forty. I need to get a new mascara. Mascara. There we are. But lines gone. And then I finish off with the PS My Perfect Nude on Primal in the shade Pink Teddy. But I don't put it on yet because I need to brush my teeth. So yeah, that's a little makeup routine. Okay, you enjoyed that. So done everything. 10 past 3. 10 past 3. Um, repping the Safi B merch. It's actually so cute and so comfortable. Absolutely love it. Uh, we're here for our Uber. We're just going to the train station and then we're going to look around some shops for a bit, which will be exciting. We stayed at the London Canning Town, um, Ibis London Canning Town Hotel. It was absolutely incredible. The staff were absolutely amazing and the room was great except for the hard bed maybe because it's new and it's been renovated and it's a new bed but i don't know otherwise it was actually really really nice so thanks for that guys oh my god yeah so guys I dropped my coke all over me here and now I look like a right weirdo but it's it will dry and <laughs> we'll live with it we'll live with it I was gonna put some leggings oh my god I was gonna <laughs> so me and Amy are having so much food I got ham and cheese toasty 
thingy, my body, my boob, and the Coke. Amy and Amy got the seam. It's actually really, really nice. But we're trying to work out like what that yellow thing is. I know. It's either mayo or mustard. Yeah, it's not butter. But butter. <laughs> Can you even know? I just like that. Yeah. So we're in the train station. Our train's not that long. Thought we'd get some lunch and just wait in here for a bit and just chill out for a bit because we've had an amazing weekend. Well, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah an amazing weekend. So, yeah. Oh my god, I need a straw. In my suitcase. I'm going to go up to undo it. Basically, I don't, I can't drink out of a thingy like that. I have to have a straw because my tea is. My teeth stain really easily and I'm trying to work on that. So the best thing to do is drink out of a straw. I mean, I'm sure it won't hurt this one time. Seriously, I can't go back in that case. I did it on the train yesterday and literally I couldn't even close it. Me and Amy both had to do it and I had to stand up and push on it and she had to close it and yeah, it's full. So I'm going to eat that and yeah, don't know what we're doing later. Oh, I got hair in my feet. Pigeon. <laughs> Hi, <friend. laughs> Hi, creamy. <laughs> oh no, the two pairs of glasses thing again. The, <laughs> on the train still. I've just finished editing. Oh, again. I've just finished editing tonight's vlog for you guys. I don't know. I do that every single time. I just finished editing the vlog. Obviously, I can't do that without my glasses. It's a really, really great vlog, so I hope you all enjoyed it. It was absolutely incredible. Describe yesterday. Mm. Amazing. Absolutely insane. I'd do it again. I love it. I'd definitely go next year. But we'll do it the weekend. Yeah, and I think next year we'll do the weekend because I think it'd be kind of fun. Um, I'm just waiting to get off. Yeah, no, it's absolutely not great weather outside. Well, so it's going. I'm also very, very tired. Editing always makes me tired. But tonight's thumbnail is probably not our best as well. It's got all my faves in. No other vlog will beat that thumbnail. No, I just won't. Just won't. <laughs> How many people did meet yesterday? I know. Met Anna, Sid, Lewis, Roxy, Elf. Lots of both together. Yeah. So Sid, Elf, Anna, Roxy, Lewis, Jed, Wendy, and Darwin. So we met quite a good bit of people. So I'm quite happy. It's definitely worth it. It's also like the event is so like affordable, to be honest. It just depends if you live near London and that. It was got bit, it got boring after a bit, didn't it? I wouldn't say boring, it just got, there wasn't really yeah, much really to do. Yeah, because we were early and I think yeah. more tired and stuff like that. Yeah, we should have stayed from Friday till Sunday to be honest. Mm. But hotels are really expensive in London and so is like the food and everything. So. But next year, definitely, definitely going, and we'll be definitely spending the weekend there. Can't we? Uh, not long left to go. What time is it? Five, yeah. Five o'clock. So yeah. we've got about fifteen minutes, and then we're gonna be going. Yep. So we're batting the little app start again. So we're back in Nottingham now. We're just about to go for a bus. Amy is going to find out when it loads up. What time the bus comes? It's Sunday service. I keep forgetting it's Sunday, and that means the buses are not as regular, which is a bit irritating. I've caught this earring so many times today. I'm surprised I haven't really ripped it out yet. <laughs> How long have we got? I'm on what and number on. is it? 
So guys, it's a few hours later. As you can tell by the wear and tear of my makeup and also because I look tired. <laughs> I'm currently back home. We did arrive back home earlier. I don't know if I vlogged. I haven't vlogged in a few hours. I've also been seeing my dad and I can't vlog there as well because we went to my workplace because obviously me and my stepmom work at the same place. So obviously I can't vlog that either. So the last few hours I was unable to vlog but not as much happened anyway. I've literally just seen people and you know just like catched up with like family because everybody was so like you know intrigued to see what happened. Um, you know I kind of uh, you know just catched up with people so there's not really much to, to vlog anyway I haven't had dinner because I've had so much food today it's literally unreal and I keep messing with my hair because it's irritating me um I'm just I'm just in my bathroom I'm just about to take off my makeup and put my jammies on and sort myself out Current, recently I've been not wearing my glasses and it is a problem because it gives me eye ache but I just I feel like I'll be too scared to put contacts in but I think I'm going to trial them. If any of you guys have had contacts um, kind of let me know how they feel like. I just don't think it's right like putting your fingers like near your eye. I just It's just not you know not something that you do. Also, I'm really loving my earrings. I feel like they just add like dimension to my face. But I am currently very, very tired. Literally all my makeup's like falling off. In the mirror, it doesn't look as bad like, I don't know if you can see. In the mirror, it doesn't look as bad like, but on camera, it looks absolutely dreadful. So I'm going to be taking that off. But this morning I showed you what I put on my face. So now I think I'm just going to, let me just put you up there. So now I think I'm just gonna show you what <laughs> I used to take off. What I put on this morning. First thing I love to do is put your hair in a bun. Um, the next thing I do is get a baby wipe. I've currently been loving the Nivea 3 in 1 Gentle Cleansing Wipe. They are just so soft on your skin and your skin feels just so clean and fresh and so like healthy when you've used these so it's so it's so good sometimes i will wash my face with the glossier um jelly thingy my bobby my boo thing but i don't like to do that every night um i kind of like to only do that when you know, my skin's had like a rough day or every now and then. I usually do it like every other day, which I feel like is a good, you know, because if you put it on it every day, your skin's just going to get used to it. So I kind of switch between, you know, my certain favourite products. And, you know, I'm seeming to be doing well. I've got very clear skin at the moment. My eczema above my lip and everything is gone. The only thing I can't get rid of is my red skin. Um, I don't know whether that's because, you know, my sensitive skin or what, but I do get very, very red skin. And it's not, <laughs> it's not the best, okay? Um, but the next thing I do is wash my hands because, you know, your girl don't want germs on that. I, I dry them, obviously with some fresh tissue this part is basically me just cleaning my ears but i'll use my after piercing piercing after piercing solution from superdrug you know it's good to give them a good wash and that is basically me the next thing i do is obviously take my hair down and get into my pjs and that is about it. So today you've had a rundown of my simple skincare routine and my everyday makeup so far. I have been putting on a lot more makeup recently and it's not a big problem, like it's not a problem 
Um, at the moment, my skin is great and I want to keep it like that. And as long as I do my skincare, I shouldn't be afraid to put on makeup because I feel like that was part of the problem. Like, if I feel like I put makeup on, my skin's just going to go bad. But it's actually how you care for your skin and drinking lots of water and putting the right products on it and just keeping it healthy is great. So, and I know that when I'm on holiday, I'm not going to be able to put makeup on. So, I'm kind of like making the most of it, I guess. So... Yeah, and plus I've been going to events and, well, one event, I've been going to an event, <laughs> um, I've been travelling and I just find it fun to put on makeup to be honest and I want to try new products and try new things, you know, so that's what I have been doing. Um, yeah, what I have noticed recently is that I have been changing like as a person, I... You know, I said to Leah the other day, I says, itchy eye. I said to Leah that, you know, the the Katie that I am today, I never thought I would be. Like, I, I definitely have gained a lot more confidence. And, you know, you should be confident in your own skin. Weight has always been my problem, but I know I'm trying to do something about it. And probably in all these McDonald's are doing <laughs> a great big help. But I am obsessed with McDonald's and I shouldn't, you know. Okay, the last few days, well, yesterday especially, was a bit out of hand. But, you know, it's just, the thing is, unhealthy food is just so cheap. And, like, there's a McDonald's, like, there's... Three McDonald's I could have chosen on Uber that were like 10, 15 minutes away. And I was just like, really? We're trying to find like a healthy shop? You know, you, you don't get them and then they're so expensive. And like, you could buy a bar of chocolate for a pound, but like grapes and that will be like two pounds. And you know, you don't want to eat a whole tub of grapes, but you can eat a whole bar of chocolate. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those, you know, hit and miss kind of things. And you know, sometimes I let myself go, and everybody does it, to be honest, and you know what, I don't, I don't care, I know in my mind what I want to be, and what I want to do, and what I want to look like, and I'm just taking one, you know, one step at a time, and if I get to my goal in three months, four months, a year, even two, as long as I've got there, that's all that matters because I know I've been improving a lot of other things in my life as well. So it's about balance for me, definitely. But like, old Katie would never have got her nails done, even though the friggin' orange or yellow, whatever they are now. Literally, how disgusting do they look now? And like, I never would have got my hair done. I've always said throughout school that I've never ever get my hair done. Like, I don't want to ruin it. I've got my hair done and like I've got my ears pierced and I love being who I am I'm wearing makeup like I have changed so much and it is a big thing and you're probably thinking well people change all the time yeah you're right people do change all the time but it's a big thing changing and seeing how you've changed because you don't realize it until now like the other day I never have been spontaneous you know with my anxiety I've always thought about what I'm doing and you know I've got to book things I've got to make sure you know I'm, I'm mentally prepared for things like that but like the other day getting my ears pierced saw it and look at it L love the earrings that I've got in you know it was it was great price as well and the staff were friendly and I just said do it let's do it let's go and spontaneous Katie doesn't come out very often <laughs> you can definitely ask a couple of people about that but you know, I'm making these friends as well, like, at work, unfortunately, a few people are finding other jobs, but, you know, at work, I'm making some great friends, and I'm loving it at the moment, I really am, my life is going great, <laughs> it's going great, and, yeah, I'm really happy, anyway, that is the end of today's vlog. I am going to end it here because if I don't, I'll probably will forget about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, what are you doing? Quick, go and watch that after this video and go and have a look at it. Because I was in London, silly me, <laughs> um, didn't actually, you know. Basically, what I did is I filmed a video and I didn't like it. And I was going to say that I didn't film it and nothing like that, but I am going to be truthful. I filmed a video for Sunday and I didn't like it. So I'm going to refilm it 
tomorrow for me, probably the day you're watching this video, and it will be going up tomorrow, so don't stress. It is gonna be going up. So if you haven't watched my main channel video, it should be up by the time this video is out. If it is, I'll link it down below. If it's not, then it'll probably be up tomorrow. But yeah, if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog, definitely go and watch it because I met some amazing people and I love that vlog and it's gonna be, I feel like vlogging is amazing because you get to like vlog things and like show your everyday life. And when you do things like that, it's like, dang, you know, I can remember that for the rest of my life and it's just out there for everybody else to enjoy and share. And yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it vlogging and i'm glad you guys do too i mean 100 subscribers and many many more to come hopefully if you haven't if you haven't seen me or any of my vlogs before on my channel definitely go like and subscribe they are very frequent <laughs> they will be definitely and i will see you very very soon with another vlog bye love you